Welcome to BlueFX.net. My name is Marcelo and thanks for buying this last template called Action Slideshow. And I'm here to show you how you can customize all the stuff inside this project. So let's move on. In the delivery folder that you receive, you will find another folder called an Action Slideshow. Inside this, you will find the final After Effects project. Just open it by double click. OK, here we are. You will find at the first look these two folders, each one contains elements of the project. All the stuff that you can change and customize will be contained in this folder. As you see, you will have here all the composition that will allow you to change footage or image in the containers, text, and your logo. Extra, you have a uh, little help to change all the texture like this one in the walls behind these elements. First of all, I need to tell you about this object here in the timeline. This layer, called Slide Reference, has 10 marks. The space between these marks represents the time that the object will lose on the stage, and every mark represents the transition of the camera between that times. So you have here the time enough to show 9 footage with text. I will show you now how you can customize all these elements, footage and text. Let's start with the text. These are all the composition related with the text. In the timeline, every mark has the right number of the composition that you need to open to change the text at this point of time. So, if you need to change this text, you only need to open this input text 01. Just open it by double click and change the text inside. Let's go back to the main composition to see how the text has changed. The process to change the text inside this other composition is the same. You only need to be clear about the right number here in the timeline related with the right number of the composition that you need to open to change the text in this part of the time. I will show you now how you can add an image to this footage container. First of all, take a look at this number in the timeline. This number means that you need to open the input footage 02. Just open it by double click. In the timeline you will see another two marks, one for the in and another one for the out. That means that you will need to fit your footage between these marks. This will represent the time that your footage will remain visible on the stage in the main composition. As an example, I will use this footage that I have here to add to this composition. OK. I will bring this up over the text to see the entire footage on the stage. Just be focused on the scene to see the portion of the footage that you want to show in the mind composition. Remember, you have to keep the footage between these marks. No more, no less. Let's take a look at the main composition to see how the footage has changed. By the way, I will change this text too. The number is 02 at this point of the time, and I'm going to open the input text 02. Just change the text. OK, let's see how the text has changed in the main composition. OK, the process to change all the footage inside the containers is the same for the rest of the input footage composition. Let's see how you can add your logo at this project. Let's take a look at the timeline. As you see here, you have a little mark called logo. This mark is showing you the time that your logo will appear on the project and the time that your logo will remain visible on stage. 
to add your logo and your project, you only need to locate in the You Change folder this composition called Your Logo Here. Just open it by double click. To see your logo in the main composition, you only need to import here the image of the vector of your logo. Just try to keep it inside these guides. Let's make a little test. I will open in the other folders, bitmap one, this blue effects image logo. I will drag it to the composition. And I will turn off your logo here text. I will try to fit it inside the guides and you will see how your logo will appear in the main composition. I will show you now how you can change the textures of the walls behind these elements on stage. You only need to go to the Your Change folder and try to locate Meta Texture. Just open it by double click. We already have here some Meta Textures that we are using on the walls in the My Comp. So if you want to change these textures, you only need to import inside this composition the texture that you want. For example, I will use another grid that I have here to change the texture inside this scum. Let's see now how the texture has changed on the main composition. I will make a zoom. As you see here, the texture has changed. So you can use here whatever the texture that you want. I think that you already know all the things that you need to know to change every element inside this composition in the YouChange folder. I will tell you now how you can change every color of your project using this layer with a color control system. Let me show you how. To see the whole control color system, you only need to select the color control in the timeline in the My Composition and open the Effect Color Controls. Here you have all the color controls for every element inside the project. Just to have a better visualization about how this works, let me show you how you can set up all these panels together in one view. First of all, you need to select the stage panel and drag it outside. And I will drag inside this panel the effect control panel. I will drag it this way. I maximized the panel and I have added another with some sample image that I made just to give you some kind of guide to pick up the color from the image to your project. In this panel, each one of these controls has named it according with the element that is affected on the stage. To start to pick up all the colors from the sample 04 image, let's open all the color controls. I will start to pick up the color from the first control. Ok, as you see, I have changed all the colors in the project according with the sample 04 image here. If you need some little touch, for example, in this shape, called it separator, you can pick up the color from another image or you can control the color using the color control in this way. Just remember that every element on your project has a color that you can change using these controls. Let's go back to the main composition. Ok, now you are ready to customize your project. As you see, it's really easy and fast to do it. We hope you find this new template really useful for your ideas. This is Marcelo from BlueFX. Thanks for your time and remember to visit our site, bluefx.net, to see what is new. See you in the next template. Bye.